What's up? What's the word? Uh-huh. How are you? How's your week? Uh, pretty good so far. Can't complain too much. How about y'all? I'm good. I'm good. good. Huh? Okay, so thank you for coming on live stream with us. No problem. I appreciate y'all having me for sure. Okay, so the name really caught me first off. So I really want to know, like, what is Hip Hop Littles? Because I was like, <laughs> it was the Littles. I didn't know we were talking about little people or what. So let us know. Uh, what's what's Hip Hop Littles? I mean, repertorially, we are talking about little people. Um, Hip Hop Littles basically is it's a family entertainment and media company. So very, very similar to, like, the Disney aspect or Pixar, anything of that nature. That was my initial... Um, thought of producing this uh, company. What made you want to add the aspect of hip hop into it? Uh, I, used, I used to be a hip hop artist myself. Like I've done you know, a lot of music and my past time as an underground hip hop artist from Chicago. So I also wanted to keep that aspect of, you know, myself as far as like my creative aspect and my artistry. I wanted to create that and I want to combine it with something that'll be more immersive as far as like um, basically tackling a subject that's being, you know, overlooked or not even trying to be foreseen in our community. So I wanted to, you know, do something different and kind of bring that to it. What was that like changing moment? Like what was the moment where you was like, okay, I don't know if you're still an artist, but she was like, okay, I'm going to take my artistry and, put it into the community and make it something different that we've never seen before? Uh, I mean, pretty much the fact that, I mean, Chicago's so violent, you know what I mean? So I, I wanted to, you know, bring something that kind of like simmer down the violence and kind of like we have to start from like the rooted situation, which would be our youth. So um, my music was always about like love, community, um, real life, you know, situations that we deal with. So I'm more of a soulful artist. Um, so I wanted to kind of, you know, use that that subject to, you know, carry on and move it on over. Um, I read that you have the children's books. Tell us a little bit more about the children's books. Uh, so our books is basically like, it's more like to educate, but it's more based off um, situation. It's like situational. But it's a lot of things that we deal with in our underprivileged communities. But I'm, I'm kind of basically reimagining it and kind of putting it into a more, you know, childlike perspective, so it won't seem so vague to the audience. Mm. Mm. Okay. So outside of the books, I know you say you're like a full media production company. So what other aspects do you keep your hand in the community? Uh, well, music, of course, I, I'm, um, I also write music and things like that still. Um, I'm looking to, you know, in the future to collab with a lot of different artists from, you know, all over. Also, um, 3D animation. So I'm basically building like the Walt, I'm like, be like the Walt Disney for the underprivileged community, for the mm -hmm. culture of, uh, of, you know, African Americans and, like I said, the underprivileged, regardless of whatever race they are. Wow, that's beautiful. When I first heard, well, when I first saw about Hip Hop Little, the first, so I immediately thought of like Gracie's Corner. Did you watch Gracie's Corner? Um, I don't watch Gracie's Corner, me personally. Um, I'm, I've always been the type of person to kind of focus in on whatever I have going on, just so I won't um, like just mistakenly even like um, inject something from another company into what I got going on so they won't feel as though like I'm competing with them or I'm, you know, copy or, you know, copyright mm -hmm. or, you know, trying to snatch something from them to kind of bring on to what I got going on. So I've heard of Gracie's Corner from a lot of like um, peers and, you know, people that I'm close with. But me personally, I haven't sat and, you know, watched the competition for the most part. Um, and then you got the clothing line, which I've seen. Um, I got to order me some for my babies. Um, talk about the clothing line and how that came about. 
Uh, the clothing was actually the clothing was the first thing that I came up with, but I had no reason for kids to purchase these clothes. So <laughs> uh, when I first started creating, I was just like, "How am I?" And I got these clothes. I got these clothes, but at the end of the day, it's like I don't have nothing that's going to draw them to uh, want to actually wear it. And me, I'm I'm very like purposeful. So I mm. anything I do, I want it to serve a purpose. I want it to be meaningful. So it's very well thought out before I even decide to make it go public. Mm. Okay. I love that. I love that. Um, and so the clothing is for kids, but it's also for adults too. I, let me know if I, I read that wrong. No, no, that's correct. Yeah. Okay. So what made you want to incorporate both into um, for adults and for children? Um, I mean, we need the parents and for sure. Um, I feel like we're, I mean, truthfully, you know, as parents or, you know, anything of that nature, we are not our only, our child's only influence, but we are the major influence. So if, if I can get a parent who's mentally already developed and kind of understand, you know, more of what's going on worldly, then if they can support me, I'm sure that they would mind pushing off my brand to their children so they can support the same sense. Like I want it to be a comforting brand. I don't want it to be something where it's like, oh no, like they only represent this or they only represent that. Like I want them to understand the, the combination of um, subjects and the combination of meaning with the company. Mm, I love that. So what else do you have planned for 2024? 2024? Uh, 2024 will be just like focuses on branding and building a community around my brand and basically um, focusing more in on the exposure. But what I do have coming that I've been working on is the 3D animation. So we will have like a series like on YouTube starting. And then I'm looking to um, connect with Tyler Perry and you know do some more work in that area. So we will basically be like, like I said, the the Walt Disney for the culture. I mean, we need a Magic Kingdom in the hood. I don't care what nobody say. Love that. I like that a Magic Kingdom in the yes. hood. So where can people find you? Let us know. Like, where's your brand? Where's your website? Where can we look out for your music? Uh, the website hiphoplittles dot com. Follow us on Instagram at hiphoplittles. Instagram and Facebook as well. Me personally. My uh, personal Instagrams at Oak Modelo. All right, then. Thank you for chopping it up with us. Well, before you go, we always ask uh, each one of our co-hosts, and we're missing the co-hosts today, so you can chat in on the conversation. We always ask each other, like, what type of music we've been listening to this week. So, who who have you had on your playlist? My playlist. Uh, me, I like a lot of like older artists i don't really deal with too many new age artists simply because of the message that's like being generated a lot of times but me i'm more of a fabulous fan like i listen to more Ooh, fabulous okay. <laughs> he's been going crazy on them freestyles right she'll like that <laughs> i love you so fabulous yeah i've, I've been like to a fab since like superwoman before his name was like he was i think he was streets before like before he was called fab and um, him getting his name from was it Clue? No, nah, not was it Clue? DJ yeah. Clue, yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe Clue gave, Clue gave him Fab. So that's been my favorite artist since I was a kid. So behind him is Wayne, Hove, Nipsey, and Rick Ross. I listen to artists that I can learn from. I don't really listen to music that's gonna um, manipulate the mindset. So love that, love that. Show for show. But we're going to go ahead and close out. Thank you again, Modelo, um, no for coming and talking about your brand. Make sure you keep in touch with us. Send us anything we can help to use to keep spreading awareness. You're doing something great for the community that's needed. So we definitely appreciate you. I appreciate y'all for having me, for sure. Hey, uh -huh. what's up? What's the word?